What is going on guys? I am back with the Black Mirror uh, Part 5 now I never thought I would be playing this game ever again and earlier tonight I was like fuck it I want to give it another shot see if I can figure it out because I was at a wall and I figured out a trick that I did not know that actually made me progress so with that being said let's jump back into the black mirror with episode 5 load game I really did enjoy this game but it's one of those point-and-click uh, mystery games where sometimes you just hit a wall and and things don't make sense there's nowhere to go uh, so I just kind of gave up it was everybody watching had fun hanging out and chatting and watching but it wasn't really fun to watch when you don't know what to do uh, but thankfully I figured that out hey Hamma how's it going thanks for stopping in to everybody stopping in thank you guys very much all right so it was a simple little mistake I was making earlier that was leading me to not progress uh, I don't know, I guess there's a secondary action button that does different things. So, uh, for example, right in here where I am supposed to be getting the key, I would click. And he would say, I cannot see there. It's too high. I can't see there. It's too high. Uh, and then right click. I'll try reaching up there. And it does different things. Okay, how was I supposed to know? All right, nobody told me. There's no uh, something there. buttons or anything. The key to my drawer. But anyways, for everybody that's new to this game, it, in the room. it is a mystery, horror, adventure, point-and-click game. Um, it's got a very intriguing story. I'm at the Black Manor. I think I was like an orphan or something when I was a kid here. I grew up and I left. But Sam, uh, I think it's William, the owner, he, uh, from what it seems, went crazy and committed suicide. But there's a little more to it than that. So we're trying to figure out what's going on. So I finally came back all these years later as the lead singer of Creed. And I'm trying to figure out what, what, why he killed himself. What's going on? There's supernatural things at play. Hey guys, foggy afternoon from the Philippines. Oh hell yeah! I, I want a good rainy, foggy day where I can just play video games all day. That sounds amazing. What's going on, stream bloody gore? All right, I'm in. Finally, progress. To anybody that is interested in the pre streams um, I have this all on a list on the channel you can check it out the black mirror playlist and it'll play through all it all still them work. it's a nice it's camera there's no film in it and my old films are useless okay grab the ones next to it dude TV's gonna shut off gotta fix that all right good They're too old to be used what does that mean what the hell I gotta find new ones my holy Bible. I need that Bible I need Jesus so that's it? Just a camera? Hmm. Shit. Okay, hopefully that's enough to get by. I know clicking a million times is the right thing to do sometimes. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. So we got a camera. That's progress. How's it going? Chris Lampert's in the house. Chris Lampert, what's up? Alright, so I got a camera now to take some pictures. Uh, <laughs> okay, let's go do some other things. That's all I knew, guys. That's the progress for tonight. All right, thanks everybody for watching. No, I'm just kidding. It will probably be a shorter stream tonight. It is pretty late, but I do want to make some good progress before I uh, before I do end the stream. So I want to get I want to get farther. I was really interested in this game, like I said. It's just I was at a wall. I didn't know what else to do. It's good now. Jesus, to be continued. How's it going? I was watching Until Dawn playthrough. Oh, that's my December game. Uh, so, you know, this month is all about all different horror games, all different survival horror games, Evil Within 2, and all that fun stuff. But my December game is going to be Until Dawn, because that's one of my favorite games of all time. I fucking love Until Dawn. So good. Just ashes. Just ashes. But then if I use the other click, there's something there, guys. Holy shit, Chris Lampert with a $5 super chat. That's what I'm talking about. Thank you, Chris. LOL, I just messaged you on Steam asking if you were streaming or just playing. This answered my question. Yeah, dude, I was just testing it out to see if I could get it figured out. Thank you, <laughs> thank, you. thank you. Um, what was it? Something was glistening in there. Did I get it? Oh, hell yeah. All right, here we go. Time to do some puzzles. Oh, shit. Okay. Maybe that goes there. Some Resident Evil puzzles, style puzzles here. I like it. Okay, maybe that doesn't go there. 
Oh, this is going to be tricky. Tri oh, wait. Can we... Oh, shit. It just got way trickier, guys. <sighs> you can fucking rotate. Son of a bitch. All right. Let's spread these out and just kind of get a feel for where we are. Nope. There's a lot of fucking pieces here. That's an ear. Looks like that'd go somewhere over here. Let's just try to... That's a that looks like a beard or something. Who is this mystery guy? And why is this picture ripped up and thrown? Is this a... Yes, this is a, a horror game. Actually, I don't know if you guys watched my streams of this a few months... Um, I think it was like two months back I was playing through this. They did really well on the channel, which I was very thankful for. I never thought... <laughs> there he looks like... Oh, it is what his face looks like. I never thought something like older like this would do so well. But I think the first video I put up got over 6,000 views. So it is an interesting game. Um, it's That's the only reason why I keep playing it. Uh, there's a lot of hair here. Okay. We're making progress with the face. What a handsome guy. Looks like a goon. <laughs> Fuck. All right. Can't you lock into place? Okay. We, oh, no. I'm trying to grab that... This piece. There. I want to move this shit out of the way. Oh, cool. I can move stuff. Alright. Let's move stuff I don't need over here. And we'll just worry about his face for now. I believe this is the background that he came up with. Or that was made for him. Oh, um... The background, the uh, background for my stream. Uh, this one I just made the other night. I, I really enjoyed it, so I thought I'd start using it for some of these older games. It won't work with a modern game. I like to use a new clean look. But yeah, this... I was trying to test and see if I could get the live wallpapers working with OBS. Thankfully, I got them working. Uh, for our live... I think we're doing a live podcast tomorrow. Uh, sh there's a lot here. Here's some hair. I actually think that did not fit at all. Okay, we'll put that there. Let's move this out of the way. This guy's a goof. I think they gave me ten too many pieces here. My simple mind can't do this. It's pretty damn nifty. Thank you. How long did it take you to throw that together, JJ? Uh, I think it took like two or three hours. It was it was really like I just took the overlay I had, changed the colors up a bit, and then what took me the longest is just trying to figure out am I gonna make a a GIF, an animated GIF out of these backgrounds, and I did, and it didn't work. So then I just looped the video. And that's what worked. And that saved me a lot of time once I figured that out. But as far as like the pictures and little animations go, that was that was all quick. And the picture was already made. I just had to move some things around. But now that I... I it was more of a proof of concept. Now I know that I can do that. I can make a lot of uh, really interesting uh, live wallpapers that I'm planning on doing. Got to make a library for the new segment we got coming up. I think it goes something like that okay and then we got uh, a neck here there we go yeah progress guys um of the puzzles i like the creepy zombie in the window his name is patrick somebody actually named him on a previous podcast they're like can he be named patrick and i was like yeah yeah that's patrick i like that so yes guys that's patrick the zombie um hi rowan all how's it going absolute mma see guys this is what I'm talking about. Okay, I've been playing a lot of new horror games. And they're interesting and they have their, you know, goods and bads. But this has puzzles. I like I like mystery. I like puzzles. I don't like always having to run and hide. This this music. these these This picture ripped up in a million pieces. Like, this is cool to me. Okay, I feel like... Yeah. Oof. Okay, maybe... Don't know 100%, but maybe I doubt it. Yeah, I doubt it. I'm just trying to f cut so many little pieces of hair. Okay, hair. We should have did the border first. That may have made the most sense. This maybe will go there. I'm just trying to like move stuff around so nothing gets in the way. Look for a weird black border. Maybe. No. And that don't match. I'll figure it out. It's 4.13. Yeah, it's it's the same time here. Excess. 
how he played game two, just set him up, set it up, this up himself. Oh, I'm not sure what he used exactly. The video is buffering. Need to finish the update from my phone. Oh, well, 32 people watching. That's awesome. Thank you guys all so much. I hope you enjoy the stream. It's a mystery horror adventure game. Right now, I'm solving a puzzle. The puzzle is putting putting pieces of the rip picture together. Hey, how's it going, gamer? UA Fron. UA Forn. Sorry, I fucked up your name. <laughs> Go to my YouTube. Go to my YouTube. Alright. I'm just looking through everything right now. I need lips. So we're looking for the corner with some lips. We're going to work off of the picture. I think that might be the quickest way to do it. The only problem is I don't see any lips. Is this a lips? That doesn't look like a lips at all. <gasps> Gross. I'm watching the stream and then your Mortal Knight 2 on my Xbox. I don't think I'll be passing out anytime soon. Oh, sorry to keep you up, man, but thank you for watching my content. Glad you're enjoying it. I'm looking for lips. Amy's here. How's it going, Amy? It's kind of a puzzle on the Spencer jewelry box. Yeah, it's just way more complicated. Okay. Okay, I'm looking for lips. I got all the time in the world. At least I know I'm making progress now. This is going to be like a corner piece here. Oof. That almost looks like it fits if his head is really big. Yo. How's it going, Leon S. Kennedy? Thanks for stopping in, man. It's an honor. All right. Oh, shh. I know it's a button on a shirt. So many people, yes. Thank you guys all for coming to hang out. I appreciate it. You guys are all night owls like me. I just got thinking. I gotta play detective here. No. That's hair. following your channel for so long this is my first stream and i've caught love your videos thank you so much soul hunter i appreciate that man glad you caught a stream it's gonna be a little slow here while i figure this out hmm i don't think that goes in that corner honestly but you never know this looks like it goes with it Could be wrong. I am wrong. Um. Oh, he's in a hole. Nice. Alright, let's see. That looks like a... Okay, I see a little piece that goes with this. I just don't know which corner it goes in exactly. We'll put it here for now. And that actually looks like it plugs right in there. Holy shit. That was a coincidence. Okay, that's something. Oh, there's the black. That would go right there, I would assume. Okay, I would, it looks like I would assume maybe right, maybe not right. Try the last piece on the left. Oh my god, that's going to make things complicated. Uh, oh, let's see. Just looking for a lip. But it would be so f little that it would be hard to see unless you put it in. There's some hair. This is a shirt. This got to go somewhere down here. Wow. This puzzle's tricky. So many pieces. No. Maybe this one here because it's all moldy and nasty. Nope. Okay, I can figure this out. Nope. Nope. Plug and play. That flip, it, and then the one on the upper left. Oh shit, you guys are going to start telling me how to do this and it's going to be really hard because there's a delay. I'm telling you that's not going to work. <laughs> I appreciate trying to help, but there's so many pieces here that that could become extremely tricky. 
Hmm. Nope. I don't think that's in there we go. Okay. There we go. Okay. There we go. It's falling into place. Shit. Who's this goon? What does he do? Alright, um... So there we got a little bit of face coming together here. Try to fit these in a little better. Now I got a shoulder here. That helps a lot, actually. Hmm. Puzzle time with the residents of evil. I could get used to that. 37 people watching. That's amazing. Thank you guys so much. I hope you enjoy the stream. I got, I got, got confidence in JJ. <laughs> Thanks, Leon. You have more confidence than I do. No, I'm just kidding. I'll figure it out. It's coming together slowly but surely. I just got to move him. I think I got to move him down a ways. Honestly, he needs to be like right here. No. Yes. There we go. That was in the way. Start putting it. Okay. It actually fits itself into place, which is odd and interesting. Okay, so it knows where it wants to go. That's weird. It's just plugging itself in. That's awesome. See? It puts itself where it wants to go. Nice. Cool. That's going to make my life so much easier. Alright, what do we got here? This looks like it's part of his beard. Yes, there's his lip. Nice! Ten points. Alright. This is fun. I actually feel like I'm accomplishing something. This looks like... No. This part's gotta go in here. We need more cheek. Looking for more cheek. There we go. Cool. Now we need some ear. There we go. We got some hair here. Actually, that looked like that would have plugged just fine. Does that plug in there? No, doesn't really plug in good. But, shit. I need another part of his eye here. Uh, I'm pretty damn cheeky if I do say so myself. Who is Jeremy Irons? <laughs> imagine doing this drunk. Well, Lucas, I don't really have to imagine too hard. I mean, I do, do have a few empties here. I mean, that could explain why I'm a little slow. <laughs> Alright. That looks like that goes there. Nice. Because that fit itself in when I set it down. Okay, we just got some more hair here. Yes, yes, yes. Look at this goon. Who the fuck are you? That don't go there. There we go. That fits itself in. I do how like if you get it really close, it'll actually plug itself. So without that, this could be a little, little challenging. Okay. So that's some serious progress, guys. It's not going to take too much longer from here. I just fucking jinx myself. Good job. There we go. These, I don't think they go here. I mean, that all goes... Oh, yeah, that does go there. Oh. I think it goes something like that, actually. So 
these go together, just not there. Okay. What do you guys think of this? Let me know. In, let me know in the comments right now. Do you guys think this is an interesting game so far, from what you've seen? This is part five. Like I said, I played this on the channel before, and it, everybody seemed to really enjoy it. I'm happy to be back on it. But I know a lot of those people that watched aren't still here. That was a while back. <laughs> Kendo Gunshop, how's it going, man? I like the emojis. Kendo Gunshop, Chris, uh, they are sponsors of the Residents of Evil. They got those cool little badges you see. Okay, um, I need more sh shirt. I just need to go off of this here. That looks pretty legit. Yep, yeah, that fits really well in there. I gotta keep this one up here. That don't go here at all. So we'll get that out of here. There we go. That's a big piece. Okay. Nope, but I do see something. Nope, not there, but I'm close. Let's go. S no, stupid. Let's go somewhere. That goes here somewhere. Nope. This is a big piece. There we go. Cool. Um. It's like the puzzle from the Resident Evil remake. It is, but yes, on steroids. <laughs> that uh, that is a very fitting word there. Uh, it is just like it, but on steroids. It's it's pretty intense. Uh, it's good though. I like it. Okay, I think this piece sh should stick out. No. Doom Slayer with a two dollars super chat. Thank you so much, Doom Slayer. Thank you for another live stream, my friend. Well, thank you for coming to watch, man. I hope you enjoy this one. Okay. Uh, there can't be too many other choices. Hey, how's it going, Benicio? Thanks for stopping in, man. Thank you. Hi, Gray. I am Stuttgart. Come on, JJ. It should be pretty obvious, hey? Why is this not just, like, sticking out like a sore thumb to me? There. That's fitting. Cool. I feel like we're m we might be missing some pieces. That could totally be the case. I don't think that goes there. Oh, that goes there, though. Nice. Nope, that won't go down there. This may totally go in here. It does! Holy shit. That's what I like. Here, this goes somewhere here, maybe? No. Let's see what we got going on with this. Nope, that won't go there. That might actually go here. Oh, it does go there. Holy shit, nice. Yes, like I said, instead of just running, sneaking, and hiding, Constantly through an entire game, something like this makes me feel much more accomplished. Makes me feel smart. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But it does. Alright. No. That goes right there. Nope. But that goes there. So we are missing some picture, I think. Or no, do we have... Yeah, it looks like we have a full complete picture. Oh, there. Holy shit, guys. It's a Christmas miracle. Where did I just grab that from? God, put that back. That was an accident. Whoa! Mind blow. I've never seen this face before. Me either! Who could have thrown the picture in that fireplace? I don't know. Why did they take care to tear it up first? Who? <laughs> These are good questions, but the pictures together. Now I gotta go ask everybody who the fuck this goon is. 
Who the fuck is this guy? Tell me right now. I don't have time for your bullshit. Uh, I was too, JJ. Don't worry. Hell yeah, JJ. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. I feel awesome. I can uh, retire tonight and be good. All right. Thanks, everybody, for watching. No, I'm just kidding. I told you. We're going to make some good progress tonight. I want to make sure we can go through and beat this entire game. That is the goal. I like it. I want to finish it. Thank you, Mr. Thick Dick. <laughs> Go in here. Go over here. We had to talk to Gloria and figure out who who's this guy was. Where it's gonna turn out that it was her secret lover, and she didn't want Willie to figure out about him, and so she ripped up his picture and threw it in the fireplace and burnt it. The only problem is Willie put the puzzle together, and that's why he committed suicide. Case closed. The lead singer of Creed, Creed solved it. I would like to ask you about something. I'm listening, Samuel. Okay. Can you have a look at this picture? Sure. Pablo Escobar. Somebody's got to know who he is. Do you know who this man is? It's my lover. Hmm. I've seen that face before. Yes. But not exactly this one. What does that mean? What do you mean? Thank you. much younger than this picture, but it was the same person. So, who is it? William once brought an orphan here and offered him food and shelter for a couple of days. He lived for a time outside by Broken the sword. Interesting. A humble, quiet boy. Do you know what his name was? It was a very long time ago. Oh, could you imagine if Willie had his him kept him the entire time? time? Locked him away? Completely changed. It was as if he had gone mad. We could not let him stay here after that. They took him to Ashbury. What happened to him then? I really do not know. What do you know? It was a very long time ago. Did your husband tell you anything? Remember. It was he who accepted that boy as a patient. This is a different time, guys. Okay. Husbands weren't all very, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, very social with their partners. They haven't time just kept them around for, I don't know. That wouldn't make sense here though, cause they're rich and they have a, they have a butler who does everything. So I don't know why Willie was so secretive with her, but uh, definitely should have told her some shit to make my life easier. Stain. Ghostbusters two. It looks like a. It's a sign. Put this down some. Can I take a picture of it? No. I gotta figure out who this guy was. Why do we always have MGS flashbacks to games that we have nothing to do with? Slapper. That'll that'll tell her. That'll wake her up. Bitch, these are things I need to know. All right, I'm gonna uh, see if this guy knows. Who <laughs> cares? Solid life. Do you have a moment? My friend's dog's name is Morris. I should tell this guy that. Sure. You guys ever had that awkward moment where you're talking to somebody and you're like, "Oh, who's this?" And then you introduce the person. And they're like, "Oh, that's my dog. That's my friend's dog's name, or that's my cat's name." And you're like, "Was that supposed to be offensive, bitch?" <laughs> I wouldn't say so. I've never seen him around here. Okay. Thank you. Snake. Go, then. All right, sir. All right, sir. He's a drunk. I uh, found a bottle of wine in there. I should probably go, no, nah, I don't even want, yeah, I should probably ask him about it. Something I figured out when I was testing this before I started playing, I found this, and I couldn't find it earlier. Red wine from our cellar. How did the bottle get here? Hmm. Somebody likes to party. Morris where he got it. I'll ask Morris. Look at these horses. Can't interact with them. I am here. How's it going, Daniel? Can you hear me? Morris, where the fuck did you get this wine? And why didn't you tell me you were having a party? Yes, sir. Wine? Morris, I've noticed you have a bottle of wine on your workbench in the stable. Yeah. Wine? I sometimes take a sip when it's cold out. <laughs> but 
never going worse. That's a that's an alcoholic's Where excuse. Is our vintage red. Where did you get it? Well, Sir William gave it to me some time ago. Just this one bottle. Sure. Really. Yes, yeah, sir. he knows. All right, Morris. This guy ain't stupid. He literally asks all the same stuff I do. Chris Lambert with a two dollars super chat. Kept you waiting, huh? Thank you so much, Chris Lambert. <laughs> Thank you. Nice. Okay. Um. So he's drunk, and now I gotta go figure out if anybody else knows who this boy. And the picture is, that's now a man. Age hasn't slowed you down one bit. Someone took JJ alcohol, kill, kill, kill. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. That's how it goes. Holy shit, Amy. A $30 super chat from Amy. Yes, I never heard of this before, but please keep on going. Amy, your voice has been heard in probably one of the loudest ways possible. Thank you so fucking much. For that $30 super chat. That is so awesome. And I'm very grateful. Uh, I'll continue. Because I like it. I really do. I'm going to ask the butler. where If he knows who this guy is in the picture. But yeah. Shout out to Amy. That was amazing. You made my week. Probably. Between you and all the other super chats. Thank you guys all so much. And to the sponsors. Thank you guys. Everybody has been very supportive with the residents of Evil, and I really appreciate that. Kendall Gunshop with a two dollars super you. chat. Thank oh you. shit, we got a super chat train going on. Hey, this isn't first grade math class, Salt Snake. <laughs> nice, keep the keep the lines coming. Thank you so much, Kendall Gunshop. You see this this guy? He looks like my friend in real life. You know Bob Spaghetti. Hmm. He does not look familiar to me. I am not very good at remembering faces, though. Sorry, sir. I think you're bullshitting me. I think I will go now. I Before I snap and break you. Have you thought about sponsoring? Let me tell you about our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Thanks for uh, asking, Chris. Yeah, if you if you are going to, Amy, if you are going to donate, which, which is very, very appreciated, um... You can do that also by sponsoring the channel and you get some cool extras for doing so. Just so you know. Alright, there's the creepy gardener I gotta go talk to. Have you, uh, it's odd that I started this MGS reference war. I had no idea you guys do this in every stream. Uh, you're messing with the best. No, these guys are really good. A lot, of, a lot of the fans that are fans of the Residents of Evil are also fans of Metal Gear because, as many of you know, Resident Evil 2 came out at the same time as Metal Gear. So I remember the first time I played Resident Evil 2, I was at my cousin's house on Christmas in 1998. And um, they had two sealed copies and a brand new PlayStation of Resident Evil 2 and Metal Gear. And I remember the first game we played was Resident Evil 2 because I had it in my hand, sealed, brand new, first came out, and I opened it. And we played that first. But then I remember playing Metal Gear at the same time. But Resident Evil clicked with me. But uh, to a lot of people, it's, you know, both those games. Alright, you son of a bitch. Who is this? And why is their picture all ripped up in the fireplace? I know it's probably um, the girl's mistress. Or mister, not mistress. Other mister, whatever. Put the fucking plants down for a second, dude. I'm trying to talk to you. It's Henry, me. Do you recognize the man in this picture? Have Look you those ever tits? Seen him? Did you can see that? <laughs> in that no, statue? Sir. I don't think I have. Retro. Hell yeah, Stream Bloody Gore. No. Uh, I like that name. Not. I just wanted to know if you had ever met him. I'm sorry, sir. I will leave you to your work. Okay, so there's one more person I can think about that I can ask about it, and that's the doctor. Which I'm sure he'll know. But I can get there really quick by just tapping on the map here. If it'll fucking open. Alright, and then just click on the... Oh. Can I leave? That'd be cool if I could leave. I have no... This game is very... It's probably going to get blocked. It's probably going to get censored. There's a, a nipple right here and here. 
I don't I don't think YouTube's a big fan of nudity. I guess YouTube's not a fan of having fun. All right, let's go check and see if the doctor knows who this guy is because obviously nobody's going to know except for the last person I go to. Greetings, Batman. Batman's in the house? No shit. Yay! How's it going, Batman? Thanks for stopping in, man. All right, doctor. It's so great having... There's 40 people in the room watching this game that a lot of people would just look over. They'd be like, oh, old game. Not. I don't care. I'm going to, you know watch something else but it's like no it's good it's interesting and it's got a residence of evil Doctor, can i have a word with you stop reading dude your friend just died act like you care yes all right have you ever Picture. seen this man no i have not i <laughs> think that guy grows marijuana someone i would remember if i had seen him we're in the house, literally. Okay, so nobody knows who the fuck this guy is, and now I'm getting pissed. Ugh! I, I, I wouldn't admit to knowing this guy either. <laughs> Holy goon. I didn't realize he looked like that. When I was putting the puzzle together, I wasn't really focused on his face. What does the back of it say? Yeah. I wouldn't admit to knowing him. Even though he looks just like Bob Spaghetti. My boy, Robert Loretti. I'm just kidding, Bob. Uh, is that Chuck Norris? Holy shit, it looks just like Chuck Norris. Whoa! Chris Lampert with a $5 super chat. It's easy to forget what a sin is in the middle of battlefield. It's easy to forget what a sin is in the middle of a battlefield. That's a pretty deep quote. I like it. Thank you so much, man. All right, since nobody knows who the fuck this guy is, I'm just gonna just gonna be on my way. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, thank you. Um, there's nobody else in this house that would know. Maybe I can talk to um Yeah, about that guy's drinking problem. Cuz that hasn't been brought up yet. Nerd. <laughs> Really? Shit. I kind of needed you to talk to her. I need to know what I'm supposed to do. This is where kids are a little slow, guys. A lot of walking around, clicking on things. What was that? I just heard... Was it the door closing? Um, I, I really wish I could go to the cellar. I should be able to go to the cellar now because I gotta check the booze. He says, I don't need to go to the cellar, but I do want to go to the cellar. Love Last Door. Great game. Oh, the last door, Mr. Boblex. That's yeah. That's when I gotta play that again. Uh, episode two would probably be coming next week, or shit, maybe tomorrow night if I don't feel like it. We're gonna have probably a live podcast tomorrow, though, guys. Okay, so the only thing I have to go off of is this dude's picture. I'd buy everybody here a sponsorship if I had the money, to be honest. Well, Chris, I super appreciate that, man. You are definitely an MVP. Thank you so much. That really does mean a lot. Okay. Did I check that drawer? Let's check the drawer. Check the drawer. Um, by the way, I'll probably be getting The Evil Within 2 this Friday, and I'll be playing it probably next week, Monday through Friday. Because I hear it's pretty good, and uh, the little bit I watched on it looks pretty legit. I wouldn't buy it if I didn't want to. It's old, but operational. It's old, but operational. I'm just checking what I got here. A common metal coin. What do I use a fucking coin for? There's quite a lot of money in it. Vote Chris for the Residence of Evil MVP for 2017. <laughs> Hell yeah. Uh, how much is a sponsorship? Mr. Thick Dick, it's $5 a month. That gets you the sponsor badge next to your name. Your contributions help out the channel very greatly, and you get custom emojis for doing so. You, The more sponsors, the more emojis you unlock. And if you decide, hey, fuck it, I just want to do one month, I sponsor him for a month, that's good, you can cancel. All right, there's nothing left in here, guys. Yeah, you get those emojis. We got the oh my god, Barry, 
And we got the Troll Nemesis. And I think we might be doing a Robert Kendo for the next one. That's what everybody seems to want to do. This character you're playing as looks like the main character from Alone in the Dark. That and the lead singer of Creed. Dom's bad open. I'm not going to sing anymore. I'm not. Because be it if you hate Creed or love Creed, the songs get stuck in your fucking head. And it is annoying as shit. Kendo should have been the first one. <laughs> he shut up, definitely. The only thing is, I don't know if he makes a reaction other aside from... Uh, uh, I'm trying to think. Sorry about that, babe. Yeah, I don't know what reaction he makes. He doesn't have, really have a facial... I think it's just cool to have Kendo. Just to have him as an emoji. Because, like, you got the Oh My God Barry for, like, the Oh My God moments. You got the troll nemesis for when something's funny or you're trolling somebody. I have nothing to tell him. I have nothing to tell that drunk asshole any yeah either. Let's get the fuck out of here. We're gonna make one more big thing happen. Yeah, we're gonna have one more big thing happen here. We gotta have a revelation. I don't know what's back here, honestly. Don't think I no, I don't think there is anything over here. So I got a picture of this dude. Okay. There might be some use my profile pic. I like that one. I'll probably use that one. Oh! I think I might do the where, like, uh, the confused Kendo. Who are you? What are you doing here? Yeah, like your picture. Yeah, that's that makes sense. Who are you? What are you doing here? Frozen Evil. Revelation. Boom. <laughs> okay, let's see what's upstairs. Hold your fire. I'm a human. Yep, yep, definitely was a human. Alright, oh, this guy, this guy. I forgot he exists! I forgot he fucking exists because he's such a creep and he never leaves his room. I bet this dude's the one who did it. This is fucking fun. This is like hanging out with you, you all you guys and playing mystery. This is awesome. This is so much better than playing them other games I was playing. Ooh. I need film for my camera. <laughs> I need you to take some pictures to get some film. Well, perhaps down in Willow Creek. <gasps> I get to go to town? I think I may have a couple of rows myself. And they should probably still be usable. Thanks, dude. Can you get some dirty pictures on there? I would be happy to. But I put them in the attic with some other old things. Ooh. In my chest. That's the one right round the corner. You'll have no problem finding it. No, I won't. Thank you. I'll go pick it up. Sure. But who's this goon? I have no use for it. You guys, shit is going down. Progress is happening and things are getting fucking interesting. How's it going, Alex? Thanks for stopping in, man. I went to the attic to get that film, but your chest is <laughs> Were you already peeking around in there? I borrow your key. Locked. Oh, I have entirely forgotten about that. Sorry. I forgot you had that dead body in there. Let me just go take care of that real quick before you go in there. Welcome to this place. I'll show you everything you. with arms wide open. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. I got a key. Who's this guy? Robert, look at this old picture. Do you know who this might be? Hmm. No. No, he doesn't know either. Nobody knows. Why are you asking? Oh, should I give them the negative answer or the good answer? All right, I'm going to let you guys vote. Positive answer or negative answer? First, yeah, uh, say positive or negative. The first one to five is the one I go with. Should I be good cop, bad cop, or should I just punch him in the dick? Uh, if there was an option for it, I'd fucking do it. And just be like, good, tell me everything you know, you son of a bitch, and let me in your room. Positive, one for positive. Negative, one for, okay, we're one on one. Positive, two for positive. Does look like alone in the dark. Negative. Oh, negative. Positive. What are we at? What are we at? Positive, negative, positive, negative, negative, positive, po oh, positive, positive ones. Uh, positive one. All right, we're gonna go positive. But it was fucking close. I think it was like neck and neck. I found the picture in the old wing, torn to pieces in a fire. Should have been negative, but I think I would have went positive too. The person in it is probably not anyone important. It was him. Forget about it. Forget about it. I'm gonna ask him again. I showed the picture we talked about yesterday to Victoria. She oh, said well, you would know. Hey, thank you for subscribing, Liam. Welcome to the Residence Viewer. 
Are you sure you don't know who he is? Here, we're going to get something. Let me see the picture again. I'm not quite certain. Same here, Doomslayer. He resembles one of my patients in the institution. <gasps> it could possibly even be him. I do not see where this Raining blood! <laughs> Maybe we can find out. Who could have brought a picture of some madman to the castle? And why? Yeah, why? I was her... go now. So he lived yeah. here and he literally went mad. My work. Hell yeah. The key that Robert lent. Let's go let's go make some progress, baby. To the attic. Let's go snooping about. I like these big ass creepy pictures. So I think what I'm gonna do is Residents of Evil isn't just about Resident Evil, even though that's what I like. So it's probably 95% Resident Evil. It's about re uh, horror games, survival horror games, and Resident Evil. But I think it's just gonna be about Residents of Evil. So any game that's got a creepy house, like Until Dawn, or Resident Evil, or something like this, I'm gonna play it on the channel. Because I like these point-and-click uh, adventure games also. I feel like Resident Evil 1 was a point-and-click adventure game that just was at a time when they were kind of evolving away from that. Because I do feel like a lot of people say, like, what was it about classic Resident Evil games that had that charm, that had that mystery? that had... And it's like point-and-click games really nailed it. And it's just like it was like a, it was like a for, uh, it was forming off of that, if that makes sense. That's a very nice theme for the channel. Thank you, Grave Robber. Until Dawn, yeah! That's, uh, December is Until Dawn month. Actually, okay, here, I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna tell you guys something cool. It could turn into nothing, okay? So don't get your hopes up, but it's cool, and it makes me excited. So you guys know how Ollie gets a lot of these guests on the Residents of Evil podcast. Like, we got Allison Court, Sarah Coates, uh, David Vaughn's coming up, DC Douglas is coming up. Um, you know, like a lot of really cool actors within the Resident Evil community. Well, since I told him, I was like, dude, December is going to be Until Dawn month. That's one of my favorite games ever. Could we get some Until Dawn actors or actresses on? And so he said he would work on it. So if we could get some awesome actors or actresses from Until Dawn, blow my fucking mind. So just something cool, something cool. Ooh, I got some film. Time to take some nudes. It's going to work. Who was the voice actor for Leon Resident Evil 2? That was Paul Haddad. We did have him on. We were going to have him on, but uh, had some scheduling issues. I, I know Ollie still talks to him regularly, but he had like um, some things going on, so he couldn't do it. Hopefully we can get him on on a future episode. Fatal Frame for the win. Coon was another good horror game. Frame. Uh, JJ, have you played Fiddle Frame? No, that seems to be one I see a lot of you guys talking about. I think uh, the next upcoming games will either be Silent Hill, Fatal Frame, Siren. I believe there is one other one you guys wanted to see. Wait, there's more items. Okay. Let's put that. I'm out of practice, but I guess the film is installed properly. Good. Ooh, that would be cool one day. Oh my gosh, it would be amazing to have them on the show. Goddamn right it would. Uh, I like the zombie stumbling around in the background outside of the window. It's creepy and atmospheric. Good job. Thank you, Doomslayer. I gl I'm glad you like that. I'll have a lot more coming. And I'll think I'll be making an exclusive one for the new segment we have coming on by Distant Memories. He writes a lot of Resident Evil lore and short fan stories. And we're going to be doing some audio stories on here soon and i think i'm gonna do a library theme with the fireplace and a clock ticking and all that sort of cool shit so this one is just kind of a proof of concept um and it it, it i'm happy with the way it turned out so there's a lot more i'll be doing to everybody watching thank you guys very much i hope you guys are enjoying it if you are please drop a like <laughs> and that lets me know you guys thank are interested you. in this game and if you are new definitely subscribe for some more survival horror let's plays live streams giveaways news all that fun shit Alright, see camera. Holy shit! The other one was Haunting Ground. That was it, Chris. Thank you for that $2 super chat. Haunting Ground, Fatal Frame, Silent Hills, and Siren. That's what everybody, the majority of people asked me to do. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Mm. I gotta write that down. No, I'll remember that. This is recording. Wait, what do you say? Developed. Alright guys, that seems like a really good place to leave off. Made some good progress. We got some clues. 
Uh, obviously, there's a lot of people lying here. One dude's an alcoholic and doesn't like to admit it. The other dude just sticks around in his room and doesn't tell me everything unless I ask him twice. He's got some weird thing going on there. Um, and the wife is cheating on her husband with some insane dude with a picture she ripped up and threw in the fireplace. So this game has gotten only more interesting. I want to thank all of you so much for watching. I do want to thank all of you guys for the super chats, the sponsors. You guys are amazing. All MVPs. Everybody here, MVPs. Thank you guys so much. If you enjoyed this, please drop a like. And if you want to check out the, the videos before this, there is a playlist of the Black Mirror on the channel. There's four episodes previous to this. I just want to let you guys know the last episode didn't really make any progress, but one, two, and three did have progress. Kendo Gunshot with the $2 super chat. Thank you, Kendo, for watching. Um, all right, guys, with that being said, we'll be back tomorrow with probably a uh, live podcast. And then uh, maybe I'll play something after that. Might not, but just so you guys know. And then we'll be doing a voting on, am I playing Siren, Fatal Frame, Haunting Ground, or Silent Hill? All right, so I'll probably give that one to the Patreons, the Patrons to vote on. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. And Chris, <laughs> I need you. to chat with you. I don't know if you have Discord, but... If you are, I got to add you to the row team because you're a master of unlocking. Okay. All right, guys. Talk to you later. See you.